Good morning learners you know we are discussing the chapter wind storms and cyclones so far we have discussed many properties of the air and we know that air occupies space air exerts pressure and we already discussed one of the very important property of the air that whenever there are high speed winds they are always accompanied by low pressure areas so today's point of discussion or today's point of uh, our focus will be related to next property of the air that is air expands on heating so here also you can see it is written the warm air is lighter than the cold air why the warm air which is heated why it is lighter because whenever we heat the air for example in this activity you can see the hot air rises up for example the air molecules which i have shown are present here nearby the candles as soon as they get the energy heat energy they expand because they and they move apart from each other they expand they gain the energy they get excited because they get heat energy and they move upward that's why in case number 1 you can see the bag the paper bag which is empty but it is having air inside it is moving upward it rises paper bag a and paper bag b but in case of paper bag b you can see it is still at a lower position the reason is because here the air molecules are still closer they have not expanded why they have not expanded why they have not gone apart still they are contracted because they have not gained the heat energy because we know whenever air molecules they gain heat energy they get excited and they move apart from each other and the way they move apart from each other uh, if they will go apart from each other so they will rise up same happens in case of hot air balloons you must have seen how uh, they move uh, upward in the air this also uh, based on that air expands on heating now next activity which is related is next activity related is this one you can see here next activity is there it is also based on this principle that air expands on heating here you have to take one test tube uh, and uh, balloon and you need a tumbler or a beaker having hot water this is beaker a this is beaker b in beaker b you need some ice cubes now you see in case of beaker a the balloon which was tied over or uh, it is getting inflated why it is getting inflated because air molecules which are present in the test tube what they are doing they are moving apart why because they get the heat energy because test tube is immersed in the hot water but in case of b you can see uh, the test tube is immersed in cold water and air molecules inside the test tube are still closer to each other they are contracted they have not gained any heat energy because they are in uh, cold water so you can see the condition of uh, balloon here which is deflated so this is how we can make out and we can come to the conclusion that air expands on heating because on heating air molecules gain energy and they move apart from each other so this is uh this is what we have learned today now next topic is related to the wind currents so here it is written you can see here it is written that wind currents are generated or produced due to uneven heating on the earth so there are two situations situation a uneven heating between the equator and the poles okay and second situation b this is the reason they are giving you how the wind currents are generated situation b you are already aware of because you have read in heat chapter uh, related to coastal currents or convection current b is uneven heating of the land and water so how it happens let's uh, discuss so first topic is related to 
how the wind currents are generated so first situation is situation a uneven heating of the equator and the poles for example this is your earth this is the equator these are the poles so first is how if this question is arising or cropping up in your mind how wind currents are generated produced so reason is uneven heating of the earth you know equator receives the direct sun rays it receives the direct sun rays whereas the pole receive the slant sun rays so we know equators are comparatively hotter equators are comparatively hotter and the moment they get heated up uh, so the air molecules which are present nearby they will also get heated up and they will move upward a low pressure area is created here nearby the equator so the cold currents air currents will come from the polar region so this is how the wind uh, currents are generated because of uneven heating of the earth uneven means it is not equal here the equator uh, in the equator region the land is heated land it he land is heated faster whereas in the polar region land is not heated so much so and the reason is because the polar region is getting slant sun rays whereas the equator region is getting direct sun rays so this is how it happens and how air um, current or the wind uh, currents are generated nearby the nearby the equator region thank you